everyone, welcome back to Marley Makeup. This video is actually a request by one of my Instagram followers and where um, she wanted to know how do you wear color on your eyes without looking like a clown. And so we're going to discuss that today and I want to show you guys a few tricks and a few rules when it comes to wearing color on your eyes. But let's start off with which colors we we're actually talking about. Now your safest colors to wear on the eye would be um, pastel colors or your darker deeper colors so like a navy blue a deep plum a, a dark mossy green those colors are your safe colors to go for because with your dark colors especially you can do a full smoky eye with your dark color and it won't look clownish and with your pastel colors as well it's very easy to just put a wash of that pastel color on your eyelid pop a bit of a black liquid liner on and you're done so we're not going to focus on those colors and i also think if you guys google color eye makeup you will get some beautiful um, examples of that and um, i've also done a video where i did a blue smoky eye which is also like a deeper blue um, a smoky eye. I'll put the link in here for you guys. Um, so anyway, we are going to discuss bright colors. How do you wear bright colored eye makeup without looking like a clown? Now the one rule that I can say is um, a general rule that just goes across the board when you are wearing bright colors is try focus on one area only. So if you do want to wear a bright yellow eyeshadow for instance, do a makeup look it can be a natural makeup look, it can be a black smoky eye, it can be a brown smoky eye, and then just focus that yellow color on the inner corner only. Or you can do a liquid liner and just focus that color on the bottom lash line, whether it's a, a purple or even a red, a red could look beautiful if you do a black liquid liner and you just focus your red eyeshadow and you smudge it and smoke it on this bottom lash line. Or if you wanted to do um, a smoky eye and just pop in a bit of color and you don't want to do it there and you don't want to do it under here, just pop it into the middle of the eye. So you apply that bright color just on this middle area here and you put your smoky eyeshadows all around that. Um, so that is definitely a very good rule to focus on. Even if you are doing a natural makeup look and you just want to have a pop of color, you can do like a blue eyeliner on the inner waterline. The only thing I recommend with that is maybe it's a personal taste thing but i never ever like just when it's just a solid line i would want to bring that color a little bit into whether my lashes grow out and just smudge it a bit when it's just a hard solid line so it's just a line on the inner water line i find it's um it's quite striking but not not in a in a good way but maybe that's just my personal taste Okay, so let's quickly talk about um, the products that we can use to pop a bit of color on our eyes. Obviously, we can use eyeshadows. Um, I've got this little palette from Sleek Makeup, which has got some beautiful um, bright colors in here. I love these bright colors here as well. Um, so they've got a beautiful palette like that. Um, Inglot, obviously, they've got beautiful cream liners, which is also different colors. I've got this one from Stila, which is more, it's one of those like felt tip um, liner pens. Just a, a nice green like that which I have used this one and I do enjoy it when you are going to use eyeshadows make sure you put a good primer on at the bottom my favorite one at the moment is from Sensai it's a beautiful beautiful primer but they are quite expensive so just make sure you put on a nice primer so that that color really really pops especially with eyeshadows when you're using cream liners um, you don't have a you know you're not going to have a problem with that another great 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 color product that I truly truly love is um it's these colored um, mascaras. These are from um, Ysel and Ron, YSL. And we, I've got a blue and a purple one here. You can see that's the purple. So it's a beautiful um, color purple. It's not too bright. And this beautiful blue. Now what I like to do with these is when I put color mascara on my top lashes, I like to put a black mascara on first. And I'm going to take the blue and then I just go underneath. I pop on some blue and you'll see that just adds that bit of a blue color extra. The reason why I don't like to do it on its own is I find that it, it doesn't give my eye any definition. So I still want my eye to be defined and look good, but I want color on there. So I just prefer for the top lashes only, I like to do the black first and then I'll put the blue underneath. And these specific mascaras from YSL is just such a good quality. I know that I can put them on. I'm not going to have blue flakes, you know, under my eyes at the end of the day or a few hours in. Um, the brush is great, so it still gives you a good shape. It doesn't go clumpy. Um, and they, they're long-lasting. They don't smudge. So I really, really love these. 
Okay, so that is the blue mascara that I've put on there. I'm also going to show you guys, so what I like to do with the bottom lashes, I do have a bit of black mascara on there now, so I would usually not put the black mascara on there. Um, but, it, you know, I haven't got a lot on. So anyway, I'm going to put the purple just on this bottom lash line. Just a quick tip, um, the color purple and your maroons really go with any eye color. It really um, complements the eye color and makes it stand out. Um, so that's a great one to have if you prefer, just do the purple. You can do the purple at the top as well and at the bottom. But so even like with this natural makeup look that I've got on now, I've got blue mascara at the top, purple at the bottom. So it brings me a little bit of a pop of color in my eye makeup and I don't think I look like a clown. <laughs> Another way to bring in a pop of color is to do a liquid liner, as I mentioned. So I'm going to add a bit of liquid liner to what I've got on my eye right here. And this one is from NYX. This is color Extreme Blue. And I'm just going to use this applicator and I'm going to apply a bit of a liquid line. So you can decide to just do a thin line. You can make that line thicker. If you want it to be a little bit more um, dramatic, you can do a flick. So you can see this blue is a really quick, easy way um, to just add a bit of color to your eye makeup and it still looks um, groomed, it doesn't look clownish. Um, this eyeliner just takes a little bit of time to dry, so just make sure that you wait before you look up. So I've been looking for my color wheel everywhere and I couldn't find it. So um, I basically just googled a color wheel, which you guys can do as well. So what I want to explain to you is when you want to do more than one color on your eyes and you want to avoid looking clownish, You've got to use colors that are analogous, your analog colors. So that's basically the colors that lie next to the color you've got on your eye. So I've got a blue on my eye. So I would be able to add a bit of green and a bit of purple to my eye or even a bit of a plum. And that would complement what's going on on my eye. It won't, it won't be too hectic. It won't be too bright. It'll be... Um, the best color combination to go for and the way that I would do that I mean if I wanted to add more to this I, I've already got the purple at the bottom which I think looks really great with the blue I can always just add a bit of a purple shadow down here and if I wanted to I'll maybe do a little bit of green in the middle and a bit of my brown eyeshadow on the sides or a, a gray a gray color would probably be nice just on the sides um, so that's what I mean by that you're still not going to do a whole green eyeshadow you always want to focus your color just on smaller areas concentrated areas so with this as I say you can do a purple eyeshadow down there maybe a bit of a green in the middle and then just do a neutral color on the sides if you are going to do a full full smoky eye as I mentioned keep your bright color to the middle so even if you want to do a bright blue you can do the bright blue maybe just in the middle just at the bottom here just in the corner maybe just on this outer corner and then use a dark blue to tone it in so when you work with bright colors one area only okay biggest 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 tip I think <laughs> that I can have but now what I would like to do is I would want to make this a bit brighter I want to go a bit more daring and add a bit more color to this so the, what I would do there is I would use my complementary color to my blue so the color that's opposite of my blue is my orange or your peach now that color now by adding that color it's going to complement what I have on my eyes but again keep things quite natural so when you are going to start doing complementary colors which are two really really bright colors you are going to um, do the opposite and you're going to keep it to a minimal so i'm just using my little accent brush from um, real techniques and i'm going to use the color out of this palette my sleek palette and i'm using the the orange because we said an orange or a peach color would be the complementary color to my blue and i'm going to add the orange on the bottom lash line underneath my purple lashes Okay, so I've just added a little bit of the orange down there. We don't want to have too much of that color on. But if I had to wear the orange just on its own, you guys can imagine it's not going to look great. It's not going to complement my skin. It's not going to complement my eyes. Um, it's the same with yellow as well. Yellow is also, as I said, it's a bit of a, a scary color. But now that I've added the complementary color as my color wheel, the opposite color that's on my color wheel, these two complement each other and it doesn't, it looks great. It looks like a beautiful makeup look. And it also doesn't look too bright. It doesn't look too crazy. Okay, so to sum it up really quickly, if you want to wear bright eye makeup colors, focus on one area only. Um, if you're going to do, you know, do like just the liquid liner, do just the inner corner, do just a pop of color in the middle of your smoky eye makeup there, 
do you know just the bottom lash line so focus on one color only if you want to do more than one color look at your color wheel and look at the colors that sit next to that one color that you're using and you can always use those colors to complement that if you want to do a color like a yellow or a lime green or an orange those colors can easily look quite flat they can make your skin look a bit sickly and a bit flat now you can totally wear those colors but just add the opposite color on the color wheel to that color so the opposite color of blue is orange so I wanted to wear orange so I just added the blue and that helps to lift these colors if I had to wear it on, on its own as I said it would not look that great um, a really great way to bring in your colors is with your mascaras as I said I love these from YSL beautiful quality beautiful colors um, I think that's it guys I hope I haven't confused you. If I have, leave me a comment at the bottom and I can try explain. But it's pretty basic. Just focus on one area at a time. Mm -hmm.